Hello, today we're going to see how to localize Vienna Advantage into different languages and um, as you might have seen that Vienna Advantage is already available in a number of languages which can be downloaded uh, from the market but certainly there might there are languages which are not yet translated um, or you would like to enhance the language packs which are already existing and installed in your system. So um, there are certain tools that you can use in Vienna Advantage to um, translate the labels, but also many other things uh, or the complete system into different languages. Um, so the first point, as uh, very often, is to go to the market um, while logging in uh, as a super user in the system administration level. So if you go into the market, um, you will find the module translation management and um, using this module um, you are able to translate pretty much everything which is um, there in the complete system. Um, I already installed this module uh, in this uh, system so I will not reinstall this module but um, rather go to that module to continue showing you how it works. Um, when you install the module, this, is, uh, this module is available in the menu. Um, with the name Translation Management. So you click on Translation Management and this is the user interface for doing the translations. Um, on the left side you can see this um, the languages which are already installed in your system or activated in your system rather. Um, you can select um, to uh, work on these languages um, or you could also if that language um, is not listed here. You can also select one language from all the possible languages here and then um, insert a new language in this in this system. So uh, for instance I don't have Spanish here. Um, I could install Spanish or let's say we'll do Dutch. Um, if you want to um, use an existing language pack so it is recommended to first install that language pack uh, from the market and then continue um, translating that language pack um, or translating further labels from that language pack. So what I'm going to do is since I don't have the Dutch language pack I will start inserting the Dutch language pack um, or creating the, look, um, the language in the system. So uh, I've done that so I will deactivate all the other languages here and um, I will now um, here start translating. Um, here in this drop down you can see all the possible um, entities which need to be translated for a complete localization of the system. Now this includes not just labels such as fields or maybe um, the menu or messages. Um, it also includes um, all the tables wherever there is also any kind of translation um, possible. For example, it also uh, might include the product table. So for example, if you have a product table, if you have products in English and you would like to translate these names of the products also in Dutch or other languages, you can do that, but also other things like document types, um, etc, etc. So pretty much everything is here um, and uh, you can maintain it from here directly. So if I select, for example, the report item, this is the first one, I can see uh, the base language uh, here. So for example, there is a label called document number and the translation is not there since it's a new language uh, that I've activated. So by default, the system copies the English words or the English labels into that language, but then you can go ahead and translate those. In case in that selected um, entity there are multiple columns to be translated so you can select which column you would like to translate. In this case there is only one so you can translate that one um, or it's automatically displayed. For example if I go to another one um, like um, field so, okay so in the field we have here for example the command, the description, the name and then you can actually really select which columns you would like to display. So you can say I would like to display um, only the names here so I'm hiding all the others. So by this you can see um, field name here in English and now in Dutch in that case. But you could also do it here. Let's say I just want to see the comments so 
actually you can see only the comments now there is a lot of work to translate obviously there are thousands of um, labels that would need to be translated and um, you can uh, do that in various ways so uh, handling is pretty easy so for example document number um, or movement date well um, I don't know Dutch language but let's say uh, if the document number is called I don't know document number uh, I don't know so you can translate and it is um, you see there is a red corner that means it is not yet saved uh, once you're done with everything you can just save it and then it goes and it's real-time effective also in the system um, additionally uh, depending on the type of um, item or um, entity that you have selected uh, there will be some kind of um, additional information on that for example if I select field group here um, you can see that um, on the right here in additional information that this field group um, the one that you select for example for example status uh, is a field group that is being used um, in the following windows or tabs so um, for reference it's very helpful to understand where this um, this, this label is positioned um, so that you can make out the right correct meaning of that particular element on, that you are translating um, so uh, let's just go through these uh, items that we have first of all there are report items the report items are basically um, report headers used in um, or, or labels used in reports then we have shortcuts shortcuts are used generally on the on the desktop or in the shortcuts here uh, for example these are the shortcuts DMS setting etc so these are shortcuts so here you can find uh, the relevant um, uh, labels here and you can translate those and uh, then we have account elements this is um, not an uh, not an application uh, not an application table but it's a data table so depending on if you're using a, a chart of accounts uh, this will be you can translate it into other languages if you want so but um, it's not really necessary um, account group and subgroup is similar to that um, then uh, what is important maybe for you is a country uh, you might want to show the countries in different languages so for example if we have here I select the column name so I can see the United States is called for example in Dutch uh, it's mentioned United States but then you can translate the relevant um, language or the relevant label accordingly then we have the currencies um, we have um, desktop um, the document types document types might be relevant for you if you're using uh, multiple document types uh, or the do documents in that language so um, here also you can for example see the names um, like uh, invoice uh, AR invoice AR invoice indirect etc and you can then go ahead and simply translate this here and save it um, I will show you also in, in, in a short moment some other um, ways to translate um, let's say in a quickly way then we have uh, Dunning levels um, that there is no data in, in standard as such um, element context field group is I think very crucial fields are crucial however before you translate fields um, it is recommended that you select and uh, translate the system elements um, there are I think more than 16,000 fields in the system however the fields are actually um, copied from the table system element so if you for instance translate system element and um, run a process called um, synchronized terminology so let me uh, here this one um, the translated uh, labels of system elements will be automatically copied to the fields so if you are done with the system element what would happen is actually all the fields would be automatically translated um, and then if you want to make some specific changes in the fields you still can go ahead with that but uh, I think before you go ahead with doing uh, translation of 16,000 fields it makes sense to once first translate the system elements and then um, yeah refine the fields if you want so so like this you can go ahead with uh, all types of labels and once you're done with it and it's a lot of work obviously 
uh, you will be translated uh, you will be uh, yeah done with the translation of the complete system um, I would like to show you one interesting things to translate um, let's say items in an easy way so for that let me select let's say messages and uh, here we have for example um, let me select one uh, column here and I go here for example there is the word zero in English and I would like to translate it into Dutch obviously um, I can um, do that here manually because I assume if you are translating into Dutch you might know Dutch um, but here as I don't know Dutch I have a possibility to actually do an automatic translation uh, for automatic translation you have the possibility actually to, to translate the label from the Google translation API it is obviously very important before you do that that you have some kind of an API key which is uh, obviously if you have to register with Google for getting the API key um, and it's uh, a paid service by Google but once you do that you can actually um, insert it here and then the system will help you translating so for instance it says that zero is zero in in Dutch so um, but let me go ahead with the next say one is called in in Dutch and like this I can actually go ahead quickly and do the translation uh, even if I don't know the language but obviously I think it's it's good for someone to um, look over this whole thing and uh, then uh, let's say um, yeah correct if there is any wrong translation done um, I don't need to do that um, all one by one but I also can actually for example do it quickly uh, let's say I would like to translate some report items and I would like to do that um, quickly for all so what I do here is I select the source language source language could be English or even any other language I can select the, the, the target language I can select which table I would like to translate let's say I'm translating here the field groups um, let's say I'm translating the name and I would like to trans, um, translate all not just the untranslated items but all and I would like to mark those as translated after doing so so this um, the system will send actually all the labels to Google um, for translation and receive the result so let's wait for this all right um, the translation has happened so let's go to the field groups and have a look at that so for example you see that um, here uh, already a translation has been done into the Dutch language by Google and um, you can still go ahead and, and check the results and overwrite if required you can change it but that is uh, is something which is I think um, a very quick way still uh, rather than doing it manually so for example here it's not translated maybe um, Google couldn't find the right word for it so I think it's still better to once go through um, these things and um, once you are done with um, all that um, translation you can actually also export the language pack um, okay before I do that let me just also show you for example if you do not want to translate based on um, the base language but you want to translate based on some other language so for example I have a German language here also let me just load that as well so uh, for example I would like to translate uh, because I know that better uh, German language I know better so I want to remove the base language and I can also look upon here and actually based on the um, based on this language I can translate so I can see here uh, I have lots of flexibility while translating um, the labels into a specific language and surely the Google Translate uh, API helps you really quickly translating uh, many times you will also see um, that certain fields in the original language um, are maybe with a shortcut but not or not um, let's say eligible for automatic translation uh, if you want to do so um, like here you have a module key and then a prefix and then you have something um, some word which is actually probably org email but um, it's not let's say eligible for automatic translation or you would like to even 
change the original label in the base language so um, here also you can very simply do that so let's say um, org organization email so here also you can actually uh, simply do that and um, s accordingly save it and then if I go ahead and then select get translation um, it might even find the right yeah organization email is called this one so by this actually you can actually correct not only the the, the target language but also if you feel or see certain words that you um, which are not um, let's say correctly um, labeled or if there are any kind of uh, changes or desired from your side you can always do that yeah so uh, once you're done as I said you can actually export the complete translation pack and um, you can host it on the market or also directly um, load into any other system okay that's all on the translation form if you have any questions please post your comments under this video or send us a message on, at our website vnaadvantage.com. Thanks for listening.